These are tips, methods, and recommendations based off of how Camp 4 typically keeps gear safe and secure while traveling. Hey, I'm Daniel. Welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about what bags we use, why they are special, and how we've developed a system that works between the bags. When shooting in a remote location, Camp 4 typically favors these F-stop bags. So this bag is the newest iteration of the Shin F-stop backpack. They're designed to be venture backpack. You have good padding, so it's comfortable to wear and you can travel with these pretty far, just like as you would while you're backpacking or something like that. The way the bag opens is it actually opens the back of the bag, which is really cool. So you can just put all your gear, all of your gear, all of your beef jerky. Um, there's a few attachments you can use. This bag, it can hold a camera, attach it to the front. This attaches like that. You can have a camera right here ready to go, that's nice. The number one reason why Camp 4 favors these F-stop bags, they integrate these, these are called ICUs. This is an internal camera unit. These are great to organize all of your stuff in different sizes. These are essentially bags that go inside of other bags. Take one of these, put it inside of your bag. You can take it in your backpack, but you can also take it out and put it in different bags. You don't have to be grabbing all your gear out one by one because it just have it ready to go. This is the Master ICU Cine. Lots of space, it's the biggest one they offer. Um, oh, what do you know? There's uh, some beef jerky in here as well. The great thing about this Master ICU Cine is you could put a fully built out red camera in here. Also, you could fit a, a large uh, wildlife lens that is not gonna fit in something like this but it'll definitely fit in one of these. These F-stop bags are wonderful for your camera, but they also can hold lots of different stuff. They have a water bladder spot to fill, like if you have a camelback. Also, we have Pelican cases. You may have seen these. These are the best options for keeping your expensive equipment secure. We store a lot of our gear in these cases, but we typically put the camera's lenses into our F-stop bags when we're traveling, just because it's just easier to manage that way. We're not carrying a lot of these suitcases are rolling you know through dirt with them this is another case this is a flight case seems that envy is my son oh, what's in the box in this box we have our lenses so what we like to do with these boxes is we'll make custom inserts with this foam this is called kaizen foam you could pick it up online just about anywhere trace a cutout and boom you've got really solid foam inserts Oh, what, what is this? <laughs> Beef jerky, what do you know? So when we're traveling, we're going to an airport. What's great about the ICU bags is we can put all of our gear in here, all of the camera equipment that can go into like a bigger duffel bag. Here we're using these big North Face bags. Here's a tech tip, something to remember. Um, when you're packing a bag that's gonna be checked, you don't wanna put the expensive or fragile equipment on the top of the bag if it has wheels. Um, if you pack your bag and you're thinking it'll be safer right on the top, you're wrong. So when you're packing your bag, don't put fragile equipment on the top of the bag that has a wheels because when you give it to the checked bag person, they're gonna flip it over onto the conveyor belt. So that's just like their standard procedure. Another tech tip, this should be a no brainer, but you should always carry on your expensive equipment, um, your cameras, your lenses. Ever wanna come into a situation where a bag is lost or maybe delayed and you're arriving to a location to shoot and you have nothing to use. You should always have, you know, basic camera bag that you can use so you at least can shoot with something. Maybe if it's not all of your gear, you have the bare minimum to use while shooting. Thanks again for watching guys. I hope you learned something about traveling and keeping your gear safe. Like that like button, comment, give us some questions and some feedback in the comment section. <laughs> and yeah.
If you or a loved one knows someone who owns a beef jerky company, please let us know. <laughs>